Well, I've said before in other videos that the Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby is in cahoots and also under the control of the Satanic Jesuit Order in Rome. And here is one such example proving that. Okay, this is on the tablet mag. It says, is a Jesuit good for the Jews? The Jesuits' history with the Jews has been rocky, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't celebrate the ascent of Francis. This was posted back in 2013 when the Satanic Jesuit, known as Pope Francis, was essentially became the Pope. Of the Roman Catholic Church, aka Mystery Babylon, it says in the article, the election of a new pope has always been an exciting time for Catholics. With this particular, and this particular, sorry, and with this particular pope, there is more new than usual. While most have focused on the fact that Francis is the first non-European pope in almost 1,300 years, uh, and the first one elected pope from the New World, at my Jesuit university, the Jesuit. Oh, sorry, the University of Scranton students and professors are particularly thrilled about the fact that Francis is the first Jesuit head of the church. Not surprisingly, many of those commentators uh, who have concentrated on Pope Francis' Jesuit identity have examined the Jesuits' sometimes rocky relationship with the papacy, which uh, sorry, which in the 18th century even led to the order being suppressed. Yeah, I wonder why. Probably because the Jesuit order tried to um, overthrow kings, assassinate leaders, and all this other stuff. And by the way, this idea that the Catholic Church tried to suppress the Jesuits, that is true. But it was kind of, again, it's a rocky relationship because the Catholic Church used the Jesuits to take over other nations that are not submissive to the Antichrist Pope in Rome. The Black Pope and his henchmen, the White Pope, I'll put it that way. It says in the article, Yet show that the election of a Pope must also have implications for the Jews. Or so we Jews are accustomed to thinking, in this case, it happens to be true throughout history that Jesuit's relationship with the Jews has been anything but smooth sailing. And yet, in recent decades, there has been a completely new attitude, so much that the Jews should be celebrating the ascent of Francis, who has close ties with the Jewish community of Argentina, and ha or has, he has attended a synagogue and pro co-authored a book with an Argentinian rabbi. Founded in the 16th century by a Spanish knight, Ignatius of Leola, uh, 1491 to 1556, yeah, that little Satanist who founded the Jesuit order, the, the, the uh, Society of Jesus, their false Jesus, whose members are known as Jesuits, was noteworthy in its early years precisely because of its liberal attitude towards the Jewish question. Again, you know, the Judeo-Satanist lobby in, is in full cahoots with the Jesuit, Satanic Jesuit order. You know, because both are just a bunch of antichrist spirited false prophets and satanists it says in the article the post ex uh, expulsion sorry in post expulsion spain no jews publicly identified as such in the iberian peninsula yet there are lots of so-called new christians and, and when they say christians they're referring to catholics catholics are not christians by any sense of the word roman catholicism is is every bit as satanic as judaism that is christians who had themselves converted from judaism yeah one false religion to another false religion Catholicism, you know, Judaism to Catholicism, or were descended from converted Jews confronted with evidence of Judaizing among the new Christians decades after the last Jews left Spanish soil. The Inquisition had its work cut out for it. But even before the expulsion with new Christians throughout Spain, many in Spanish society developed a loathing for those with Jewish blood, uh, not of any different than what German Jews would confront centuries later. Lim Hizia de Sangri, or purity of blood, was backed by the universities and influential figures in the church, and it helped ensure that former Jews or those of Jewish descent were not able to advance in church or state offices, uh, and for a long time it stood as an unofficial bar to marriages between old and new Christians. Well, yeah, well, that's no longer the case now. Now that the satanic, and, and it's always been the case where the satanic Jesuit order has been in cahoots with the Judeo-Satanist lobby. So this is nothing new. It says in the article, the new Christian infiltration of the Jesuits was sure to lead to a backlash, and in 1593, a society decreed that no one with any known Jewish ancestry was allowed to join. The endumbration, probably not saying that right, of, uh, sorry, of what in the United States racial history would become to known as the one drop rule. The 1593 decree was only slightly liberalized in, liberalized in 1608, with the new rule limiting the restriction on Jewish ancestry to the fifth generation. Uh, incredible as it may seem, this racial restriction would be only be revoked in 1946, although there is evidence that it had not been enforced for some time. Oh, by the way, Hitler's Nazis were actually, or sorry, Hitler's SS were based around the Jesuit order, I thought I'd just point that out. So anyway, uh, it's not surprising that uh, as David I. Kurtzer noted in his book, The Pope so the popes against the Jews, that the fifth generation rule was often cited by both the Nazis and Italian fascists to demonstrate their own racial polities, nearly, uh, heard that their own racial polities merely echo some of those of the church's most respected religious order. Yeah, both are a bunch of murderous cults. The Judeo-Satanist lobby, the Jesuits, and the Nazis are all of the same murderous spirit. 
and they're all they're all the same kind of mentality too of wanting to just execute anybody who do, who goes against them. Same thing with the Muslims. The Muslims, the Judeo Satanists, the Jesuits, and the Nazis, and the communists too, are all of the same spirit. And the Hindus and the atheist communists as well, all go in the same category together. Plain and simple, all the spirit of Antichrist according to the standards of 1 John 2, verse 22 to 23. Plain and simple. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived. The Judeo Satanist lobby and the Jesuit order are in full cahoots with each other. Uh, so anyway, it just, it's to be expected. Mystery Babylon has its little tentacles in all the false religions. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.